let's take a look at GSRT A1. This objective deals with everything about dilations. So um, you look at the properties of, the, of a dilation, the center locations in, on, out of a of shape, how, what it looks like, what, it, what takes place. You look at the center and scale factors. Uh, when we scale by a value greater than one, we get bigger or an enlargement. When we scale by zero through, through one, between zero and one, we do a reduction. We look at negative and positive values, and then we talk about the coordinate rules for dilation. Um, what's the big idea? Of course, we're now about to leave congruence behind and head towards similarity. And of course, this non-isometric transformation is perfect for similarity. So that's our future connections. Uh, our past connections, of course, is we already looked at uh, these guys way back earlier in the objective GCOA2, I believe, or we talked about isometries. Uh, traps and pitfalls, there's a couple here. Um, some things that are kind of more difficult. Um, one of them is it talks about dilating a line, and that's kind of a weird thing. The idea is that if I had a line here, and if I was to dilate this line M by, say, a scale factor of 2, students say, well, wait, a line is infinite. How do you make it 2 times bigger? Well, that's not really what we're talking about here. We're dilating it uh, a distance of 2 away. So if we made a point here, A, and we dilated A, and let's give it a B as well, and we dilated B, say, 2 times bigger, your A prime, your B prime, couple things happen. One, you, you've pushed the line further away. It's not twice the size, it's two times further away. You get parallel lines, of course, dilations produce that. If you dilated this line by a half, you would be in this kind of range and location. A tricky idea. Another tricky idea, same uh, concept is, what happens if you dilate and the center of dilation is here and your it goes through? Uh, your line. Well, the idea, of course, is A would go to A prime, B would go to B prime, and so on, and it just produces the same line. Um, what was the other? There was one more kind of tricky thing. Let me see if I can just check it out here. Um, oh, yes, yeah, scale factors. Um, probably one of the most deceiving things on a dilation, let's say we dilate by uh, uh, let's say three, it doesn't quite match up here, but let's say this is our center of dilation and we've dilated something three times bigger. It actually probably would look more like this. Students want to say that this is a one to two ratio or it's, uh, it's a dilation of, th of two because they see the one and the two. But again, it's always about um, the distance here is a one, the initial distance, and the final distance of A prime is a three. So that's a three to one. It's always image over pre-image is the scale factor. And so three is to one. A good objective though.